now I'm printing up some tiles that we're going to be using to decoupage the surface of my desk. Now what I did was I took a wallpaper that I liked, this wallpaper here, but I didn't have enough of it to do the desktop. So what I did was I scanned it into the computer and then uh, I separated it out and now I'm printing them up on my printer and it's going to work beautifully. It's going to take quite a few of these lovely tiles to decoupage our desk. Uh, we need 60. Now really it's going to be not that difficult to do. It just takes a little time. Now I've used an inkjet printer, which is what I have. The ink from inkjet printers is not waterproof. So check it first before you use it on your surface with your decoupage medium to make sure it doesn't run. Mine doesn't, and I'm using a wonderful medium called Golden Gel Mediums, and this is the soft gel with gloss over the surface of it. And it is an acrylic um, medium that is really going to be very, very good. It's going to resist all kinds of scratches and stains and things like that. So, once we get these all printed up, we're going to get started. Well, now, when most people think of decoupage, they think of those rather tiresome little boxes covered with Victoriana, or those segments they see on television of people doing this with napkins. I never quite understood that. But anyway, it can be so much more. And we're going to do this technique here on our desk. And this process is really very simple. And as you can see, I'm not worried about getting dirty. So it's not a very messy process either. Now, what we're going to need is our paintbrush, a sponge for getting it off the edges, things like that. Our gel medium, which we have here, and of course, the material that we're going to decoupage on. Oh, and well, one should probably have something to decoupage over the surface of. <laughs> In my case, that's my desk. Well, now, let's get started. Now, our first process is very simple. We dip into our gel medium, and then we paint it over the surface, over the area we're going to be putting down the first piece. Now this medium is wonderful to use and cleans up so easily. Now I'm starting in the center. And I'm doing this as if it were any other ordinary tile job. Because that's really what it is. We're working with tile. So we lay the piece down into the gel medium make sure it's all smoothed out and then we do the gel medium again over the surface. Now that's important because basically you're encasing the square that we're using here in the gel medium. And we want to make sure that the entire surface is well stuck down. Now we move on to our next We Square. Now remember, when you're working with a design like this that's very, very specific, it's important to, well, follow the watchwords, prior planning prevents poor performance. So I laid out all of these tiles and made sure they match beforehand. And so when they go together, I don't have to worry about making a mistake and then trying to pull up one of the squares, which is, at this point, almost impossible to do. And there we have it. Well, now we're going to let this dry overnight. And then we can proceed on to our next step, which is installing the cork. The spirit is moving. 